as I was reading about you, I mean, I knew your mom was a photographer and is a photographer, but what I didn't know until I got into this was that she assisted Richard Avedon during some of the In the American, in the West, American West stuff, yeah. which it made me wonder if you got to go to work with her. She would take me along in the summers. And he um, was cool with that? And like, he, he was great, and he was an incredible guy, and, you know, she always had a great collection of photography books so I knew about his pictures and he was just you know one of those people that even as a little kid you could tell wow this guy's really special this guy's exciting to be around it's always really it's always fun to get to see Mr. Avedon or get to see him work or to go to his studio and like on the upper uh, east side of Manhattan and yeah just just how exciting it was like to go in the studio with walls like this and to see how his assistants worked and his camera. But a lot of the impact was just the places we went, you know, to go oh, to really? like, these rodeos in Montana on the 4th of July. And, you know, I'll never forget there was this one street where it was this deep in beer cans. Really? And just the people you saw and seeing how Mr. Avedon would interact with these people and I'm so glad she did it because it would have been just so easy to think, oh, I'm working with Richard Avedon, you know, have too much at stake and, yeah, you know, I can't be looking after these guys. But it was that era where you could kind of just, you know, it was a kind of helicopter parents. Like, you know, they'd go to work and I'd be cruising around these state fairs or rodeos. You know, I'm sure I got, you know, money for a hot dog and a Coke and, you know, was just told to be careful and stay out of trouble. But, yeah, I think it was kind of a different time back then. Is she photograph you as well and your brothers? And Yeah. 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 And so did and, and Mr. Abaddon took some some pretty interesting ones of his assistant. Really? Yeah. I wonder if that idea of, of even as a young kid being the subject in front of a camera, I wonder if that had any bearing well, on... I think it definitely did. I mean, just in terms of, you know, being comfortable, you know, being in front of a camera. It is interesting to act on film now and kind of not, you know, to be able to not have to pose seems kind of like, kind of nice even now. You do just get used to it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, I definitely think that's kind of somehow played in, at least to making me a little more relaxed or calm in front of the camera than I might have been otherwise. Mm -hmm.